Welcome to the Knowledge Boner Podcast, everyone. It is Rant Friday. I am your host, Dylan Starr, and I got my co-host, Wally Wynn. Wally, how's it going, man? How's your Friday so far? It is fantastic, Dylan Starr. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so, you know, been an uh, uh, awesome, busy week. Um, definitely been getting a lot of work done. Definitely been doing a, a lot of learning ourselves. And, you know, today, if you've been tuning in following us, we'd like to use our Fridays, just kind of go on a rant. And I mean, today I'm going to talk about ranting about, you know, be wearing of smart people. And this was actually brought up on uh, Darren Daly. I I know you guys heard me mention this before in the past um, from Darren Hardy. And he was kind of talking about um, why you don't want to be the smart person and why you should be aware of people that are smart. And what I mean by that is, you know, you probably have people close to you, right? Maybe it's friends or family, and they seem to have all the fucking answers. They seem to, they're know-it-alls. They know everything. You know, whether it's a business, whether it's, you know, health, wealth, relationships, and they always want to portray themselves as someone that knows everything and they want to give you their opinions. And I want to, you know, kind of rant about why it's bad to be around people that fucking know everything and why you shouldn't be a know-it-all. And first and foremost is if you are wanting to be successful, you should be hanging out with people that are at a higher level than you. Okay. First of all, that that's important. So if you see yourself as a know-it-all and you think that you're fucking smart, then you're not open to learning. And this is very key because if you fucking know everything, then how are you supposed to learn something? If, if somebody's telling you something, and let's say it's like it's, it's in health and somebody's just like massively fucking ripped and you're, you're mediocre, but you're still kind of a fat ass. And they're telling you something and they're giving you advice and they have a ripped fucking six pack and they're like 3% body fat. And then you're just sitting there. Oh, I already know that. Well, what you just fucking did is you weren't receptive to what it is that they're telling you. No, if you fucking knew it, you would be doing it. You wouldn't be a fat ass. So you got to be aware of people that have all the answers that think they're smart because there are people that are out of shape that want to give you, give you advice and on health. There are people that have been, uh, you know, that are single. Let me ask you a question. Why the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck would you take relationship advice from somebody who is single? There's a reason why they're single and they're not still in a relationship. Maybe they've dated tons of people. It just, it doesn't, it's just not fucking logical. It doesn't make any sense, but they will go and tell you that they're really smart in relationships. And then, and and you heed their advice. So you got to look at people's action and their situation before you take to heart what it is they're saying. You know, same thing with wealth. Why are you going to listen to what people tell you about business, entrepreneurship, or, or, or money from somebody that's making, you know, 50, 60 grand a year, or they're not at the rela- the level that you even want to be at. Why would you even take to heart what they have to say? And if they think they have all the answers and that what they're talking about, you should run because they don't have all the answers. So that's kind of his, his key thing of, of be wearing of people that are, are quotation smart. And I'll kind of, you know, I'll let Wally kind of elaborate more on this. What do you, what do you got Wally? Oh man. So like what well, we, we heard from a really wise mentor of ours. Um, and he kind of said this and it, it was, it, if you want their life, then you're going to listen to him. But if you don't want their life, then don't listen to him. And that's kind of what Dylan is pointing out here. So, so that guy, the guy that gave you advice, if he is a broke ass, <laughs> if he is a broke ass, he, he, uh, he doesn't make any money, not motivated, whatever, smoke weed all day, uh, you know, whatever, whatever the scum of the earth, whatever you want to label him not very useful, right? If he, if, if he's trying to give you advice about money, obviously you're not going to take his advice. Why? Because he doesn't have any money, right? And, but as so many people will try to take advice from people who will take the wrong advice from people, I should say, from people that are close to them and, the, and because they use that relationship because they know who they are, but you really have to look at, okay, like, is that advice coming from the right person? Is it coming from a qualified? Is it coming from somebody who, who actually can give me the information that, that I choose to know about? Same thing as like, uh, it was like a freaking the Dylan's example with the guy with a six pack, right? I, I hate it all the time. You know, me, I was like, I work out all the time. And I remember back in college, you know, with all the other guys in my class, you know, these, it was these, you know, big guys that are a little overweight, probably, you know, you know, they're like fluffy, fluffy fat, 
you know, or fluffy muscled pe- people, right? They're like, you know, big and, but they don't really, they, they're just big and fluffy. <laughs> That's the easiest way to explain it. I don't know any other way. Um, and I remember they, they would try to give me health advice and they'd be like, oh man, you know, you need to lift like this and you need to, you know, eat like this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well, if I want to look like you, I will. I'll do absolutely do all those things, but I don't want to look like you. So why would I ever want to do that? <clears throat> No, exactly. It and and that's that's really what it comes down to. But you know, just and just realize yourself that if you if you have goals and you're trying to grow as a human being, open to learning, and you can't learn if you have all the answers. Oh, and then um, oh, now that you think about it, you got me, you got me going. There's this book called The Richest Man of Babylon. Mm-hmm. You know, if you guys if you guys have not read that book or you don't know what the heck it is, you got to read this book. It, it talks about, you know, Babylon. So Babylon, you know, it was obviously, you know, you've heard about it in the Bible and that kind of stuff. But, you know, think of it as a, a really old city that is wealthy. It was a wealthy city. Think of it, you know, as New York City, but, you know, here, like, but like normal times, right? And, you know, they had a lot of money. They, you know, there was a lot of trade. People were making a lot of money. And, you know, the concept of the whole book was, was you know, um, you know, how, how, the heck, well, how the heck does money work and, uh, and what are the laws of money, right? And one of the laws of money is is talking is, is is about how to keep it, how to keep your money, and how to how to how to invest it safely, right? And it says by taking the advice of experts, right? And the example that they use in the book is is you're not going to take uh, advice from uh, jewels about like buying gems and jewels from somebody who is a brick maker, right? Mm-hmm. And, and so basically, the whole the whole concept of the of, of that of the law was to say, okay, whenever you get advice from people, a smart person. Somebody who's actually smart will say, okay, let me go to some the person who's an expert on that subject. No, nobody could beat them and then get their advice because then I'm effectively using my money, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to. And, you know, if you're listening to this, you know, just, just, just think about the people close to you that, you know, do have all the answers and, and look at, look at their life and which kind of part of life where there's health, wealth, relationships that they have. And, and if they have something that you're looking for, you know, then be open and receptive to whatever advice it is that they have to say, because it's funny, like average people and broke people, you'd be surprised of how opinion they are. They have all the answers to everything. They really do. And, and it's amazing when you, when you meet people that are successful in in their own field and they'll tell you like, they're just, they're still always learning and they still are just like hungry for more knowledge. And they still are like, Nope, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. And they tell you, you know, I respect even the hell out of like, you know, like, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, Gary's big in the entrepreneur industry and stuff. But like during interviews, I respect the fuck out of the guy because if someone brings up a topic. You know, one time someone brought up something like crypto and then he looked at him. He's like, look, I, he's like, I, I'm not, a, I don't, I don't have enough uh, knowledge on, on the subject. Uh, so I can't give you an opinion. I, I don't know. I don't know much about it. Um, you know, I haven't done my research and stuff, anything like that. So like, I honestly, he's like, I don't, I don't believe in giving opinions on shit that I don't know anything about. And I was just like blown fucking away. Like, wow. You know, this guy's built billion dollar companies. And he could position himself as a know-it-all and an expert. And here he is just flat out saying, you know, dude, I don't give advice on shit that I don't know about. You know, I'm not like, I'm not, I don't have all the fucking answers. Like I still have to, you know, I'll research it. I'll learn on it myself. And then, you know, maybe in the future I can give an opinion, but until then, like, I don't know shit. And it's just, it's just so mind boggling to me, the difference between people like that who are fucking successful and everyone else who thinks that like they know everything and they'll happily give you their, their fucking opinion and they're not even, and they may not even be investing into it. Yeah. I mean, oh man, you know, tons of people in the crypto world, right? Wally. Oh man. And then there's so many people that haven't bought a dime of cryptocurrency, but want to tell you what crypto is to buy. Mm. That's, that's, that's the ones that killed me a little bit. I mean, me, me, myself personally, I, 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 you know, I, I used to do cryptos a, a different way. I don't really touch cryptos anymore. Um, so it's not, it's, not, it's not to say it's not my thing. It's just not something that I'm putting my money towards right now. But I don't, I don't give people crypto advice, right? I don't <laughs> tell them to go buy, buy anything because I'm like, I don't know. 
Right. So just, just take every aspect of whatever it is you want to learning, whether it's a skill or, um, you know, something that you want to know and then just make sure that you're, you know, you're learning from people. I would rather respect and learn from somebody that tells me, um, their experiences, but that they're, they're still learning and they're not, they don't know everything than to somebody that's just like, Oh yeah, just do this do that, that I know everything about this. Like if someone tells me they know everything about it, then that's kind of a red flag. I'd rather have someone tell me a story about their experiences and what they're still learning and what they're trying to achieve to than somebody just telling me like, Oh yeah, I know for a fact that this is the answer. I'm very inverse in this subject. Like I know everything. Like if someone ever says, I know everything that to me, that automatically is going to be a red flag. And that's the type of mentality you have to have. You don't, you can't, you have to be aware of people that claim themselves to be smart because they think they know everything and they're not, uh, they're not growing. They're not adapting. They're not willing to learn. And it's just going to fuck you up because you're taking advice from other people. You can take advice and shit from, you know, let's say, yeah, I know we've, we've used this example. I'm going to use it again, like bodybuilding.com and you want to lose fucking weight. Like there are tons of people that you can go in the gym that are in shape and stuff and you see them doing shit, but you know, or using bodybuilding.com and, and you just have to be careful about who you're taking advice from because just because even though they have those type of results, they could be fucking, you could still hurt yourself. They could be doing things completely wrong because they, they claim themselves as a fucking expert and you know, they're not a physical therapist. They could still be doing shit that will fuck you up. And, and, and you don't know until you just have to be open and adept to learning new things and not having all the answers and, and realizing that, okay, what's a better way of doing this? Um, God, what's this guy? I think his name's, oh yeah, I think it's Bradley, Bradley Martin um, is a, a big YouTuber. This, this dude is, I mean, fucking jacked Wally. I mean, he's super strong. He has an awesome channel. He does like some cool, like funny things when he goes into like gyms and stuff. And interviews other fitness people, but you know, he's, he's basically a fitness influencer and I actually like and respect the guy because, um, he's always still learning about like different ways to make certain lifts better or, or certain ways to, you know, challenge himself. And, and he's always open to, you know, trying stuff out. He's not like this guy that's just like, oh yeah, look at me. I'm fucking like huge and I'm jacked and, uh, I have all the fucking answers and, and, and no, like, you know, he, he's always like at least learning and, 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 and trying to keep his health up and, and seeing ways that you can make uh, a simple lift better. How can I improve this? What more can I learn to make this, you know, more of a challenge and, and to, you know, challenge myself? You know, those, those are the type of people that you want to be around, people that are still willing to learn mm -hmm. and that want to make things better. Um, and, and I think that that's kind of crucial and that's key. And that, that's kind of just like the gist of what we're ranting about. So I know it's Friday. And, um, you know, everyone's getting ready for the weekend. You know, we, we do appreciate you guys tuning in to our rant Fridays and, and, you know, hopefully you guys are finding this valuable, you know, you have anything to add in, in closing Wally. Take advice from smart people. Don't be a smart person. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and actually make sure that they are, <laughs> you know, they are at least an expert in their field that they, they have, they have achieved, not saying they're going to, they have achieved the goal already that you are trying to achieve, then take their advice to heart. But if they have not achieved the goal that you are trying to achieve, you know, let's say you, I'll make it, let me point as, as, as simple as possible. If you want to make half a million dollars a year, year, don't take advice from somebody that's not making at least half a million dollars a year. I mean, it's so simple. If you're trying to get to a certain body fat percentage or you want to lose weight, don't take advice from somebody who isn't at that, that point. It's so fucking simple, but yet people mess this up all the time. So, you know, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you're following me and Wally on Instagram. The links are below, you know, keep the feedback coming, send us some voice messages. If you're tuning in on anchor, Check out our Facebook group and ever, hope everybody has a safe and fun weekend. And we will see you guys next Monday for episode, was it 26, Wally? Is that where we're going to be at next? Mm, yep, 26, 26. Yeah, 26, guys. We're going to keep this going. We're going to keep plugging away. My goal and my vision for this podcast is to hit 100 episodes by January 18th, 2019. So I hate to tell you, we're not fucking going anywhere. 
because we are going to keep trucking until we hit a hundred fucking episodes. And when we get there, who knows? I don't know what the next goal is going to be, but thank you. Thank you guys so much for being consistent, for tuning in. Those that have been favoring us on the podcast. Um, if you are listening, you're not in anger. I have been noticing other people um, tuning in on, um, uh, I think it's called Apple Cast. Um, some people on Google Cast, um, you know, tons of other podcast platforms. You know, thank you guys if you're tuning in there. We appreciate your support and for listening in. And, you know, thank you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. We are out.